about it. Um, um, but looking at those things, you, you can up your, your ante a little bit. So if you're spending $500 a month on inventory, um, can you spend 525? Can you spend 550? And make that little bit of a sacrifice to try to push it over. And if you can't, then that's when you go back to tip one, which is really examining your margins and really examining uh, how much money you need to make on that $500. So how are your prices? This is another thing that you need to be examining when it comes to your numbers. Competition. If you had a bundle out there for a while and you it was you know selling like crazy and now it's kind of trickling, there's probably some competition out there that you didn't know you had and it's time to go and revisit really quickly, not hours and hours of tweaking, you guys, not hours and hours, but setting a 15 minute hustle and be like, okay, I'm gonna put, in, I wanna make sure and double check that I have these two or three keywords or keyword phrases in my listing and yes there's competition and I want to examine their prices and see if I'm in within range and then let it go but you need to be looking at those things because I think once you start growing and getting a little busy and you kind of get into a routine these are things that fall by the wayside but they need to be on that schedule they need to be on that weekly or bi-weekly kind of thing of like okay these are the not fun parts um, but we still need to do them Many times businesses fail because people only do the stuff that's fun and exciting and they don't realize that this is a well-rounded thing. You have to do all the work or you have to pay somebody else to do the work, which is the best way to do it, but still. Um, the best way to do it is for all the stuff that you don't like doing and don't want to do and all those types of things, you can outsource that to somebody else and you can really focus on what you're great at. Um, but either way, stuff has to be done. See if you can get better prices also, and this is still in numbers. Um, see if you can get better prices from your vendors. You know, there's, oh, you can't get a yes if you don't ask. You can always pop an email over to your to one of your vendors or your reps and say, hey, I'm really struggling with the margin on this one. Is there any way I can get a better discount? What does this look like? What top tier do I need to get at? Or if I do a monthly order of these, as in like a pre-order, which means they don't, you don't have to, prepay for it all but say every month on the first please order me you know three cases of these and you know I want them in stock by this and whatever so if they have this like long-standing PO direct order it's like a pre-order every month then they might give you a better discount because you're kind of guaranteeing you're buying product to where when people are sending POs here and there and whatever, uh, POs are purchase orders, by the way, for anybody who might be unfamiliar with th that terminology. You just send like a your, your uh, purchase order to your vendors or if you're doing it online, whatever. But this is where having a rep is really important because you can call and just say, you know what, I'm really struggling. Do you know this product? Another great question to ask them is, do you know any other brands or vendors that might carry a similar product um, that I could take a look at? Because I know I have several reps that rep many companies and so they're always sending me different suggestion ideas because they represent a lot of other smaller brands as well. See if you can get better discounts or better prices or wait for sales, um, maybe tie up a tiny bit of your inventory money to pre-buy from seasons before. You know, things go on sale even with your wholesale vendors at 70 to 80% off after a holiday. And if you know that was a really good seller last year and you're going to carry it again, why not get it for 70% off? The problem is you have to buy it now and store it. So you have to kind of weigh your pros and cons uh, if you want to do that. So. Also, another thing to, to look for when it comes to your numbers is your your ses sessions, your sessions, your page views, your title, just making sure that everything hasn't gone crazy. Sometimes when we hit a plateau, we don't know why because we're not really looking. We're just looking at like the numbers coming in and we're going, oh yeah, that's fine. But have you looked at your title lately? Is it wonky? Does something disappear from your listings? Do you have a process in place to check your listings on a regular basis? If not, you need to come into the hub and you're gonna learn how to do those things in the hub because those are that's like extra training if you're at the point where you really need to grow and you have that stuff, you need to be in the Amazon Files hub because that's where all the extra secret sauce training is, the stuff that's like the top level, like do you have a process for this? Do you have a process for that? Why? Because processes, I know that's like an annoying word, right? And I hated that word too for so long, but Processes simplify things. It may it takes the thinking out of it so that all you have to do is to be like, okay, A, B, C. You know what else processes do? Make it easy to outsource digital tasks. 
if you have a process and you can walk through it and you've walked through it three times and you can actually articulate it to someone else, then you can hire it out. You don't even have to do those things. So listing checks, you could have a checklist and then you could hire a VA to do that once a week for you. Check all your listings. Just have a specific checklist. Every listing has to make sure it has proper title, um, the bullet points, the description still there, the keywords haven't disappeared, the images still look good, and you know it's showing some sort of sales rank or you know however you want to do that. Check, 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 and move on. Now that's fine if you have five listings. It's crazy if you have two hundred in some listings. So as you're growing and having a process for something, it'd be really easy to, to start that process, putting it on your calendar and your